and welcome to Airbone Meadows, uh, your one-stop channel for all things RC and 3D printing. Today we're going to talk about the AO Coda, the AOK 150 watt discharger. And uh, last year uh, I saw a, a YouTube video on scientists who were talking about the importance of discharging your lipo batteries. So since last year I was using my normal chargers to uh, discharge my batteries and I found that it worked out very good. The batteries that I have are almost like brand new and I've been using them for over a year. So obviously discharging your batteries when they're setting for a while does work. Uh, however, when using your charger, it sometimes it would take a long time and it would time out. It would, wouldn't even discharge uh, within, uh, within the hour and a half that I, uh, that was allotted. So I saw this little product online called the AOK 150 watt discharger and it came with these handy dandy lights you can see in the video behind me so what it does is, is that it 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 balances the uh, it balances the battery but it also does a discharge by plugging in the balance port into the side here like that and then plugging the battery into this controller here and what it does is it balances, it adds a bit of a load, um, an external load, to the, um, to the battery. And it gives you a charge. You can see that the lights will start going on, adding more current uh, to the battery. So it will discharge. Uh, it, it, I'd say 95% discharges in 12, 13 minutes. And then it kind of peters out, trying to go for that extra, extra 0.1 volt uh, but I mean, I normally after 12 minutes, it, it's complete. Uh, it, it's in storage mode, so you can take it off. So now you can see all three lights are on. It's discharging this fully charged battery, and then these lights will begin to dim out as the discharging goes along. So um, that's how that works, and I, I love it. I can discharge my batteries now. And I was, as I was saying, these batteries now that I discharge, if I leave them for a couple of days, I discharge them every time and try to know that I'm going to be flying the next day and charge them. And I use my, my, Turnigy, um, my, my Turnigy power systems to tell, me, to tell me what my internal resistance is. And I found that when, of when I bought the batteries, and after well over a year after using the batteries, they're still coming out as brand new. I'm very impressed. What I did is that there'll be a link to the product, and there will be also a link to a um, to an STL file for to through to 3D print the base, because it comes with just these lights uh, without any base mechanism. So uh, I took a and I remixed um, uh, a 3D file so that I added slits on here so that you didn't have to desolder the cables from the board. You actually just slide the cables into these slits and uh, print it out. So. Uh, this will be uh, on the web, uh, on the video down below, uh, which will give you a, uh, uh, a 3D printable uh, holder for the, for the lights because they get very hot. They would actually, it, it'd be dangerous, they'd hurt someone or they would cause a fire. So that's my um, uh, little review of the AOK um, discharger. I highly recommend it. $23 or $20 uh, is a cheap investment and you can discharge your batteries uh, uh, very quickly using the product. So I really like it. I recommend you buy it. This is from Banggood, and uh, the STDL file will be up online. This here little Turnigy power system is from Hobby King. The link will be for that as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this quick video, and if you did, please uh, subscribe, and I highly recommend please discharge your batteries. You won't regret that you're doing it. Talk to you later. See you next time in Emerald Metals. Bye-bye for now.